Hey everyone, hope you're all well. Today we got some pretty big news about Halo Infinite's 2021 launch window from a guy named Bruce Thomas, who is in fact the Master Chief motion capture actor and has been since Halo 4. So of course he is directly linked with Halo Infinite. Anyway, Bruce sat down and had an interview with Dan Allen Gaming where he shared info about the recent Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War campaign. But when Dan asked Bruce about his work on Halo and being the mocap actor for Master Chief, it appeared that Bruce slipped up, saying that Halo Infinite was in the can and ready to go for next spring. I've actually got the clip here just to show you guys, but yeah, it seems and feels pretty legit, but tell me what you think. A lot of a lot of you guys might not know that uh, Bruce here also did the mocap for Master Chief, didn't you, Bruce? Right. How's that experience? Right. I still do. I started Halo Four, did Halo Five as well, and uh, we have wrapped up uh, Infinite. Infinite I, yeah. I believe, uh, unless we're <laughs> yeah. going to try to, well, unless we're going to try to do some more yeah. as the COVID um, comes to a halt. But um, but yeah, as far as I know, it's in the can. I'm um, ready to go for next spring. So there you have it. To me, that seems quite indicative of a spring release, which basically confirms that Halo Infinite will be releasing sometime around March to May, which of course, like many of you would know, was my original prediction. Of course, this seemed like a slip of the tongue by Bruce, so I'm hoping he doesn't get into any trouble because of this, if true. But one thing I have to say is that a spring release makes the most sense, seeing as the marketing assumingly will be starting sometime in January. Reason being is that 3 for 3 are releasing a high level update to restart the journey and build the hype before infinite releases. So after that drops, I'm expecting 3 for 3 to go crazy with the marketing, seeing as it won't take them very long to get people hyped again. Even now, you can see the things that are taking place to put Halo, and more importantly the Master Chief, in the eyes of the players. Here I'm alluding to the Fortnite and Halo crossover that is apparently happening, and at the end of the day, 3 for 3 are doing this to get Halo out to more people. And considering Fortnite is one of the largest player bases right now, I think that's actually a solid strategy to pull more players. Now, of course, I know some Halo fans are hating the idea of the crossover. Um, even myself, I was quite skeptical, but I will be more than happy if it brings more people over to the Halo franchise, and of course, Halo Infinite once it drops. Now, I need to touch on something that Bruce said during his interview regarding the possibility of doing more motion capture for Chief in Infinite. Well, unless we're going to try to do some more yeah. as the COVID um, comes to a halt. But um... Some people on Twitter and Reddit are blowing that statement out of proportion as he said they might try to do some more, which suggests in my opinion that they are already looking at doing some more which could then be released after the game has launched, as an expansion of sorts to the already playable campaign. I think this is what Bruce meant because he then later went on to say that as far as he was aware, Halo Infinite is in the can ready to go next spring. Again, it wouldn't quite be ready to go if more motion capture for the Master Chief was required, and since 343 have already stated multiple times that Halo Infinite's campaign will have story expansions, I think this is what he was referring to. Now I should just clarify that this by no means is a confirmation that Halo Infinite will release around spring, but it is now very likely to happen, and hearing this is the icing on the cake for me. I'm 100% certain this game will release in that period, but if I had to say a month, it would most likely be sometime in May, which of course also gives them a little more time to polish everything. So I just hope you're all aware that nothing is set in stone just yet, but this definitely is great to hear regardless. The final big thing that has come out recently is that Colby Payne, Halo Infinite's campaign level and gameplay designer, will be leaving 343 Industries at the end of December. This also is another indicator that Halo Infinite is finished as he is no longer required to get the game out. Here's what he said. December will be my last month at 343 Industries. I've learned so much from the talented team after almost two years. Can't wait to experience Halo Infinite with the rest of you. He's now moving on to another job opportunity and I wish him the best of luck. But like I was saying, him moving on now at the end of the year signifies that Halo Infinite is done with only the technical aspects left to address, which realistically would have been worked on after the backlash. So hearing pain leave 3 for 3 at the end of December just further pushes the point that this game is almost ready to release. Remember guys, 3 for 3 will be releasing a high level update regarding Halo Infinite in the coming weeks before the end of the year. Fingers crossed though, 3 for 3 can show us screenshots and many more awesome things from the game, but I think it's safe to say that 2021 can't come soon enough.
Alrighty guys, this is going to wrap it up for today. I hope you have enjoyed hearing the latest info about Halo Infinite's release date. Remember that it's not confirmed, just very likely to release in spring, but we can only hope. I can't wait to see what 343 have in store for us heading into next year. If you guys want to join my Discord, you'll find the link in the description, along with my Twitter, if of course you'd like to follow me there too. Anyway fam, thanks so much for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to support me that little bit extra. Thanks guys, have a good one.